All right, now we'll start getting into some of our hitting drills now that we know uh, what we're supposed to do in our stance and our five points of a swing, okay? Uh, one of my favorite drills, either to warm up or to constantly establish what we call hand path, um, it's called the long T drill, okay? Now, usually people just like to go up against a fence and, 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 and do drills off a of T, but um, the T, long T, helps establish the path of the ball or where your ball is going, okay? When we're, when we're hitting, okay, basically a fastball, okay, a fastball has the rotation where it's coming back at you. Everybody knows whether it's two seam this way or it's a four seam this way, the ball is always coming back, okay? As we hit the baseball, as it's rotating back, we want to hit the baseball and actually reverse that rotation out with our extension. When we reverse that rotation, that's when we create backspin and we get distance and, and, and actual carry on the baseball. And that's when we start to hit doubles and get extra base hits. And this on a tee, okay, you can take your front foot, okay, and I want it back about three inches from where the baseball is, okay. So this is my stance, okay. I want to be about three inches behind the tee. Okay, the reason why I want to be three inches behind the tee is I want to address the ball with my bat when I'm swinging, when my foot comes down and I'm slightly in front of the tee. Okay, when you make contact with a baseball that's right down the middle, the, usually the contact point is somewhere right around your front foot, which would be right here for me. Okay. And then that'll still give you the power and the distance with your hand path to go through three baseballs. The baseball here, when I say three baseballs, I don't know if I've actually told you what that was, but there's a, you picture a baseball being here, the one that you're hitting, one behind it and one being in front of it, and we're going through all three baseballs. For people who like to play golf, you're pretty much doing the same thing when you're hitting a golf ball, but you're, what we call you try to drive the nail through the ball. Okay, in baseball, it's the same thing. We try to drive through all three baseballs, which will help us get the carry. All right, so to demonstrate this drill, it is basic. Okay, you stand behind, right? You look at your target out first. Okay, this will create um, the ball moving from the mound to the hitting point. Okay, so I would come back and I would come through. All right, I would make sure that my balance is straight. I would make sure that I'd extend through all three baseballs, and then you would make an adjustment depending on how your ball reacts to off the tee. If I'm hitting balls constantly on the ground or if I'm pulling the ball, then I know the adjustment that I have to make is, one, my bottom hand will control whether I flatten the bat out more in order to get lift, okay, or if I punch my top hand more in order to drive down on the ball more. Okay, that's the adjustment that you have to make here. As far as staying inside of the baseball, okay, all you want to do is make sure that your hands, okay, are inside between the ball and the body, and then the top hand can come through, okay? You do not want your barrel to come before your hands because then you'll rotate over the ball and you'll hit a chopper in the ground, okay? Not causing line drives. Once again, I'm going to hit about five, and I just want you to see how I hit these balls, how I go through them, how I maintain my balance, and how the five points that we talked about earlier of our swing is done. Make sure that our head position never leaves the tee once we come down to it, okay? Once we come down to the ball, we never want to leave it, okay? Never want to leave it. Make sure you're driving your backside through. What I mean by that is when I step, as you can see, my back leg will collapse. The knee will collapse in. That would make sure that I've moved through the ball our linear movement, okay? What we call our linear movement, our movement to the ball is established. Once I step forward and my knee collapses and I'm sitting on the inside of my knee, okay? Then I can rotate through. The knee will turn in and I'll drive through with the backside, okay? 
Three more. And the last one. Out, down, and through. Thanks. Okay. Now we're going to go into uh, the final stage of our hitting uh, instructional video, which is actually timing uh, and actually going through the baseball both on pitches away and both on pitches on the inside corner. Always want to bunt a couple so we're getting a good timing and good vision. Good, good look at the ball. Okay, make sure I get a good bunt here. All right, and then you will start to swing. Make sure that you get your timing down first. Okay, and stay through the baseball. All right, you load back, foot down, and then through. Okay. As you can see, load back, foot down, through, okay? Two more of these, load back, foot down, through. Last one. Load back, foot down, through. As you can see, I seemed very comfortable because my, my foot was down early, okay? I was able to extend and maintain my balance through. That's for balls down the middle. As we switch to balls that are away, our contact points will change. This is a diagram of relatively, for a left-handed hitter, where our contact points would be, okay? As you can see, on the inside corner, the ball will be slightly in front of home plate because obviously the ball is closer to me I want my barrel to meet with the baseball out in front. Down the middle would probably be right at the tip of the front of the plate, okay? As you see, now the ball starts to move away from me. The ball starts to get deeper. The contact point starts to get deeper in my stance. And then on the pitch away, even deeper. As you can see, it's a diagonal line that goes straight back from inside corner to outside corner, okay? For example, okay, this pitch is here, okay? As I step, boom, I made contact right here on the outside pitch, okay? As you can see, I did not rotate my body all the way around as I would a pitch down the middle or a pitch on the inner half. This pitch is away, I would meet with the ball and then extend through that spot and then look for the ball oppo. As I said, I want to make sure I get my bunts down so I see the ball properly, okay? Always having the barrel higher than the handle. Using our legs to go down and letting the ball come to our barrel. We don't want to stick at the ball. We want the ball to come here, okay? Now that I have it, I want to take my regular stance, okay? I want to see where that ball is and I want to back up off the plate about three, four inches. Okay, so then I know that every pitch is away. Okay, so now that it's away, I want to make sure that I stay above the ball, getting deep, and staying the other way. Okay, let it get deep, reach, and go the other way. Good. Last one. Remember, let the ball get deep, keep your top hand above the baseball, extend through three baseballs in that direction. That's the outside pitch. Now we'll move on to the inside pitch. On the inside pitch, we want to make sure that our hands get in front of us, okay? So, if I'm at the plate here, okay, I want to make sure that my hands get here, okay? They're in front of me. Once I get in front of me, I've pulled enough to present the barrel to the ball on the inner half of the plate. Once they get in front of me, now I can extend and keep that ball fair. Very important 
that when you get a pitcher on the inner half that you can handle, that you keep that ball fair. Get my two bunts in as usual. And then, as I did opposite of the away drill, okay, I want a ball to go by, and then I want to get closer two inches where the ball is on top of me. This is when you're on a machine. If somebody's throwing to you, then of course you want them just to continue to throw in the inner half. You don't have to move, okay? Now, I want to make sure that I'm getting the foot down earlier, loading back, and, and getting my hands in front. Once I get my hands in front, it's extension. Okay, back through, extension. Back through, extension. I'm going out a little too far for that. I might have to wait a little bit longer. That was better, okay? Again, don't come up. I'm coming up a little bit. Make sure you maintain your effort level and your eye level, okay? Stay balanced. There we go, that's one good one. Two more. That's a good one to end on, yeah. So remember, when we're dealing with a pitch on the inner half, we get our hands out in front of us, make sure that we extend through three baseballs, keeping the ball fair, not pulling it foul. Thank you.